everyone. Today we are going to be working on a block printed set. The color combination for this set is actually my favorite part. I obviously love the design as well. Uh, now I have made this particular set before. I will leave the uh, link in the description box below so please don't forget to check that out. Uh, I have just increased the speed uh, of this portion of the video alone uh, so that we can quickly jump on to the uh, painting part of it. Uh, but so you can just uh, think of this more like a uh, you know, just a quick refresher uh, on how I made this set. But once again, uh, if you are new, uh, don't forget to take a take a look at the description box below. I have left the link on uh, on a more um, detailed way of making this set. Also, the other version that I have made is a more traditional one. This one, what we're making today, is a more Indo-Western style. Um, both really nice uh, very very beautiful i think the uh, the other one is in a combination of red green and gold today we're going to be working on uh, blue yellow and gray so if you see the set has been fired i've laid out the paints the brushes everything i'm going to be using two shades of blue yellow and gray to paint this particular set the brushes that I'm going to be using are just a liner brush and a broad bristle brush. The broad bristle brush is to apply the base coat uh, which is going to be blue. Now like I said I'm going to be using these two shades uh, of blue. So I dilute it with a little bit of water and uh, arrive at the right consistency and then I apply that as the base coat. I've already taken a little bit of yellow ochre as well as grey in my palette. begin painting now. The base coat for this set is um, this beautiful gorgeous blue. It's a lovely shade. I think team it with uh, a nice white kurta, pair of jeans and I think you know you're good to go. It's really nice. Um, it's a lovely shade and um, so it's a it's, it was a sunny uh, sunny evening uh, you know when I was actually doing this I'm having my chai over there. I typically don't eat or drink when I am painting uh, or doing anything with clay but today was just one such day. <laughs> so um, so once the blue has dried I start off with the grey and uh, the grey does uh, darken uh, you know a little bit after it dries. I think it's a lovely blue uh, you know it's, it's a really nice blue. Which is why I decided to actually, uh, you know, combine the two colors. So if you're looking to combine, you can maybe try and see if you can, uh, you know, if you want to work something with, say, a, a Persian blue with uh, maybe a little bit of lake or a sky blue, you know, try and mix those two colors uh, and see if, you know, you get the desired shade. Something similar maybe, you might get something similar. So I'm keeping the earrings as well. Uh, earrings really simple, just drawing a margin-like design with grey uh, on the four sitting on the borders like this keeping it super simple like I said you know we're going for a very Indo-Western kind of a look and this is this beautiful beautiful yellow yellow ochre is my favorite kind of yellow I mean uh, I've always been a fan of this mustard yellow um, and uh, I, I really like mustard yellow as a color a very nice nice color so yeah I think a yellow ochre um, kind of comes I don't know does it come close yeah but anyways you get tons of blocks I think these days uh, I think you have lots of options available online um, you know, I think that this block is uh, quite commonly available because I have seen a lot of others, um, you know, create this kind of a this kind of a design. Um, so yeah, this is the varnish I use. So once the paint has dried, I apply a nice even coat all over. And once the varnish has dried, 
here you go i've laid out everything that is required to assemble i'm using stud posts jump rings pliers and this particular cord uh, i picked it up uh, you know from uh, i picked it up in india uh, i'll leave the link in the description uh, below and uh, you know you can see if the if you know i i hope this stuff is available i think it i think it's it should be because i think it's a really nice product i really like this cord um and uh, yeah i think I'll, I'll, I'll let me let me just look it up i'll probably try and leave the link in the description box below so i usually have a have a stash of all of these uh, you know cords with me um so yeah so as an adhesive uh, i use e6000 and i just attach the stud post i leave it to dry for about 72 hours or more uh, you know and then only use it so i'm just pressing the stud post down making sure it's it's all nice and firm i open up the jump rings with the help of my pliers put it in to the cord and then the pendant be careful while doing this so that you don't scratch the pendant uh, just make sure you're using the right set of pliers and there you go repeat the other repeat the same thing for the other hook as well and there you go that's my white kurta my pair of blue jeans it's just it would just look so so beautiful so i really hope you all enjoyed watching the video and And uh, please consider subscribing uh, to my channel if you like the content. Uh, let me know what you think of the video in the comment section. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching.